Hey YouTube, Meat Magnet here. Today we are looking at guide 8 and import buses. So what we'll do is we'll get you all set up, check out the upgrade cards, and then we'll show you how to kind of speed up your import processes. So this is super handy for all of your ore processing if you've got mob spawners. This little device will actually start dumping all of that material into your ME network for nice compact storage. So the first thing we'll look at here is what's required to build this guy. Um, annihilation core, sticky piston, couple iron ingots, not real expensive. Like I said in the previous video, if you can make extra annihilation cores, it's a pretty good idea to do so just because you're going to use those to build these and some other devices. So, pretty simple recipe. Um, I've actually got one set up on this diamond chest over here. Typically, when Annie Line and I do any kind of import setups, we do it on a chest or some sort of a buffer and put as much material into one place as we possibly can. Now, you can actually kind of daisy these import buses around this chest if you want to just for the sake of example I'm just gonna do one here so let's take a look at the upgrade cards that are available and some of the recipes so again you're gonna need your advanced cards and these are pretty simple basic cards also simple your capacity card here works almost the same way well, it does work the same way as an export bus, except you're using it as a sorting criteria to import, rather than just everything that is in your buffer or your inventory or your machine. So keep that in mind. Your redstone card here functions pretty much the same as the export bus. allows you to shut the import bus off um, if for some reason you don't need it. The acceleration card here will definitely speed things up. It'll pull in stacks at a time. Rather, well, not necessarily stacks, but a stack at a time, depending on how much you've got in there. I'll show you how to set these guys up. And we've got our fuzzy card here for use with things such as our dirty, rotten, low durability bows compared to our, our, our nice, pristine, high ones. They're kind of a pain in the ass to work with. I don't usually like fuzzy cards if I don't have to. Just use them for stuff off, say, mob spawners. But let's go take a look at what we got going over here. Uh, crafting card, we're not even going to look at that. I, don't know why I still have that in my inventory. Ignore that. It's not there. This first one, let's look at the capacity card. So this opens up uh, the inventory or sort criteria, just like on the export bus. What we can do here is let's get a couple of these in there. And let's grab a stack of that, a stack of that. What else do we have in here? Oh, put some poop in there. So we'll throw these in. Throw that in there. So this is going to take a while. Let's actually decrease the number in here but you can see that our iron is gone and we're working on gold now once those are gone okay so since we set our inventory or sort criteria for just iron ore and gold ore this industrial fertilizer is going to sit there because it's not actually part of the filter um, this is handy especially once you've got another capacity card in here um, it unlocks the entire inventory. If you have multiples of these on, say, just on a chest, you can pull specifically just, say, your ores, or if you want to pull diamonds or emeralds, you can chain those import buses together and, and do that that way. It's a good way to sort that stuff out, and then you can use other beans to sort out your junk if you don't want it going into your ME network. But that's a capacity card. Um, let's take a look at this redstone card here. And again, this is kind of just review from uh, the last video of export buses. You got your always active, active without a signal, with a signal, and then per pulse. So this is handy for computer craft, open computer, stuff like that. I won't actually hook this up because this is pretty self-explanatory. 
it will just stop the bus from actually importing anything into the network if you have that set up with redstone signal. So our acceleration card, and let's take a look at this right away. We'll put these in there. You notice before that was actually relatively slow. This is significantly faster. And you can see let's grab some high volume items here. And I've got a few more acceleration cards here, so let's grab another three. Oops. So we'll put those in there. And we've got all this industrial fertilizer. And look how fast it blows through that. And it does work, so if you did have another import bus on the side of here, with another three acceleration cards hooked in with the same filter, or not, excuse me, it'll just keep pulling stuff in and pulling stuff in. Eventually, you can keep this this chest, you know, keep filling it up and filling it up, stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff, but you can wait it out so that it's actually importing stacks and stacks and stacks for you, so you don't have to, uh, you don't have to buffer as much. These diamond chests, a lot of time, are overkill, but there's this certain amount of security there if you're using tesseracts or quarries and you happen to fill your chips up so keep in mind you can always hook these together or add on and then just hook them together pull these acceleration cards out and then the fuzzy card this is kind of pretty much the same as the stuff for the export bus the one major change here and grab these bowls out of here what we prefer to do here is if we put a full repair or full durability bow on there, a lot of times that will be the only one that will go through. All this other shit will pretty much just stay. So what's cool about that is if if you're actually sorting differently, um, you could actually route this other stuff away. If there was a certain amount or a certain durability you wanted to keep, you could take your pristine stuff out that way, sort this random durability stuff out a little bit different, and dump the really, really low stuff into a nullifier. So, that is that. So these are pretty simple. Um, they're super handy, and this is, this is the absolute best way to get tons of material into your ME network at a really fast pace. So... That is the import bus, so that is all for this video. I'm Meef Magnet. Talk to you later.